What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl VGC Battle Festival Doubles, whatever we're calling this, I'm on the Battle Festival Doubles ladder, but we're doing a shutdown live with a Manectro team that I built. And this team is kind of interesting. Basically, if you're not aware, um, some of the two highest used Pokemon in the format, let me actually pull up Picolytics uh, to show you guys this. Some of the two highest used Pokemon in the format that are electric type are actually Raikou and uh, Raichu. Kind of funny how they both just start with Rai, but point is Raikou is a fast supportive electric type with access to Snarl, Screens, Volt Switch, a lot of pivoting tools, and it's just generally bulky. While Raichu is the frailer second cousin of Raikou uh, with access to other support moves in Fake Out, Volt Switch, Nuzzle, and Encore. Um, but its, its main value comes in the fact that it has the ability Lightning Rod, which, <laughs> I mean... I don't know, I, I couldn't really choose between the two. Mainly I wanted the support value of Snarl Raikou with Howl and stuff, um, but I wanted the Lightning Rod of Raichu, so I went with their weird love child Manectric. Anyways, if you guys enjoy this at point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily BDSP VGC content, and answer my comment question of the day, what is your favorite electric type to use in the current format? Let's try to go for 200 likes and also be sure to check out not only my discord where I'm actually like, you know, sharing the uh, info for this team. There is a channel where you can get all like the pace and stuff, um, but also check out my Patreon. I'm starting an exclusive Patreon series where I build around viewer suggested Pokemon and try them out. You know, uh, my most recent one was Venomoth, but let's go ahead and get into this. <clears throat> so basically... Uh, this Manectric is able to take a minus one Earthquake from opposing Life Orb Garchomp, uh, as long as, you know, we intimidate him. So, basically, by leading off Gyarados Manectric, not only are we safe against opposing Raikou entirely, since they don't really run anything to hit Manectric, or, you know, they just get completely walled uh, from hitting the Gyarados by Lightning Rod, but... Also, if we lead off versus a Garchomp, what we can actually go for is a Howl into an Ice Fang for an automatic one-hit KO versus opposing Garchomp, while also guaranteeing that we live the Earthquake from it, which is actually really cool. Uh, special Defense is pretty much just dumped into there, and we're calced to outspeed Garchomp in particular. As you can see, we hit 170 while Garchomp hits 169. Gyarados is just meant to outspeed base uh, 130 Pokemon at plus one. Garchomp is just standard, you know, Garchomp, except we're not running Swords Dance, we're actually running Protect this time, uh, basically just because we can use Howl if we ever want to get a boost, and that's actually really nice. We have Scopeland's standard Bulky Togekiss, we have a Choice Banded Entei, which let off next to Manectric is actually really nasty, because you can't fake out this Mon, and you can't intimidate it, and you can't burn it, and we have Sacred Fire with the Choice Band coming off a 115 attack and 100 base speed, and we outspeed it with our Manectric, meaning we can go for a Snarl, or not a Snarl, um, go for a Howl. And finally, we have a bulky supportive hitmon on top. But yeah, I'm on my alt account, Boxy Moosted. I've actually decided just to, I don't know, I, I, tonight I'm going live and I'm going to be live streaming on like my main account and trying to get my ladder up. And I'm probably going to be using this team. Uh, however, you know, for the alt account, for like, you know, doing showdown lives and stuff for now, I'm going to be testing all my teams here. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So far, this team's been really successful. Granted, you know, still on low ladder, but... <laughs> It isn't because I've lost, it's because I've played, like, not enough games. As we face a rain team immediately, um, I actually don't mind this matchup at all. Uh, Gyarados does really well into rain, and the only thing it doesn't like is Zapdos itself, which, if we let off with Manectric, we're actually pretty safe. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with a... Um, I can go with a Manectric Gyarados lead, because versus uh, Ludicolo and Pelipper, it actually forces them to fake out the Manectric. And I think in the back here, uh, what I'm going to bring is... Scissor is a little bit annoying. Gyarados can kind of check it, but not very well. Generally speaking, the hit on top is going to get a lot of mileage in this game because it's special defensive. Um, it is special defensive, right? I completely forgot how I built it. Pretty sure it's very special defensive. Yeah, it's, it's very, very special defensive. <laughs> uh, and I think my last mon... I kind of want to go Entei. Entei is actually really solid as soon as the Rain Core is dealt with, but I, you know, I can't guarantee a lot of mileage out of it. Uh, without taking care of it first. Uh, extreme speed could actually be really nice with the choice band though. But I'm also sort of leaning on Togekiss um, in terms of follow me potential next to Gyarados, but then I end up having a lot of issues with um, with the Zapdos. I think I'm going to end up going Entei because of that. 
because I'm pretty much just guaranteed value regardless. So like I said here, they're kind of forced to go for the uh, fake out into Manectric. So I'm gonna go into my Hitmon top right here and I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Dragon Dance to get up to plus one. And I'm gonna turn on the timer. Yep. As they're likely gonna Tailwind, they do go for the Tailwind, which is really nice, but now I actually have access to um, a very powerful tool in Fake Out myself. Uh, I could fake out this Ludicolo, expecting it to likely not have Protect. If you're running Ludicolo, it's kind of hard to fit Protect onto it because you want to run Ice Beam and uh, Dual Stabs. So what I think I can do here, I'm actually kind of concerned about Pelipper. I think I'm more concerned with Pelipper than I am about Ludicolo itself since I can kind of eat a hit from it. I'm going to fake out the Pelipper. And if I actually Dragon Dance again, I'm guaranteed outspeed Ludicolo next turn. So I'm going to... Actually, no, not with Tailwind. I'm an idiot. I could go for the Ice Fang here. Or I could just try to permanently get rid of Rain and go for the Ice Fang into the Pelipper. It's a little bit iffy. Um, I think if I Ice Fang into Ludicolo, it'll be in range of the Extreme Speed from Entei, so I'm going to do that. So they go for the Energy Ball. Let's see if you're Life Orb. They're not Life Orb, which is nice to know. Let's see if I can get a Freeze or something. Not quite. Uh, obviously, they're going to be partial to going for a Hurricane into my Gyarados here because they could double up and, and get rid of it. So I think what I'm going to do here is I can actually go Manectric, I think, and protect my Gyarados here because if they do knock out my Manectric, also the Manectric is holding the wrong item. That's actually supposed to be a, it's actually supposed to be a Wiki Berry. It's kind of funny. I actually forgot to update that. Um, I'm going to go into my Manectric here because I want to guarantee I get the KO with Choice Band Extreme Speed. And I'm going to protect here because they should be doubling into Gyarados. And if they don't, next turn, they're kind of forced to target Manectric. As, yep, we do call the double. And like I said, they're sort of forced to double Manectric here. Or not double, but at least, you know, single target it. Uh, and I'm guaranteed to do a lot with a Volt Switch here and an Ice Fang. Yeah, I don't really see a need to go for a Snarl. As I do tank that, let's see if they get rid of the Gyarados. That's great, because now I'm actually getting rid of Pelipper. And I can go into my Entei, which I believe Choice Band Extreme Speed should KO. And I can also go into my hip on top. So they go Garchomp themselves. Uh, this is actually a little bit iffy. I do manage to get them to minus one. Uh, and I think locking myself into extreme speed isn't a bad play, but it's kind of iffy. I'm going to go for the... Does E-Speed KO? I have to run a calc. I got to run a calc. Entei. Choice Band. Versus Ludicolo. Ludicolo. Uh, my extreme speed is doing 53 to 64 versus this. So, yeah, it's a guaranteed KO. As long as they don't have any bulk on it, I should always KO, right? 53? Yeah, I had to double check that. I was really scared. <laughs> and I can go for the fake out and the chomp. And I get static. That's a little bit annoying, but as long as I KO this, I'm pretty happy with the outcome of that game. Or of that turn. Um, and I can also go for a wide guard here, which is really nice. Or do I want to... I think I just go for a wide guard. Hopefully I don't get paralyzed. How much does that do? I actually go for the Dragon Claw. Very good play by my opponent. Ooh, this could be kind of rough. This could be kind of rough. Um, how do I do this? I think I end up losing this game, unfortunately, because they actually called my wide guard there. I mean, I am focus Sash. I could go for a Howl into close combat and hope that does enough, because then actually, if I get rid of this Garchomp, I hard wall Zapdos. All right, my play is Howl close combat. Don't get fully paralyzed. Oh no. Oh no, please don't get fully paralyzed. Come on, come on, hit my top, come on. No, <laughs> that was my only out. No. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay. That really sucked. How much is he doing with Earthquake? I lost 61. I mean, I still have a chance to win this. Now there's no point in howling. I just go for the Thunderbolt. Ah, 
Dang it, that sucked. I actually would have won that. I actually would have won that there. I suppose I can go for like crit snarl here. Actually, I might win with snarl. Yo, I might win with snarl. Yo, I won. Okay, cool. GG's. <laughs> oh, I was actually really scared there. Uh, but yeah, I should wall this now. Yo, shout out Manectric with the accidental focus ash tech that I didn't mean to put on there. Shout out Manectric. Anyways, yeah, let's, let's, get, let's get going. Let's get going. Whenever I get a game like that, I always have to make sure I'm still recording. <laughs> which I am, which is nice. Okay. Uh, ooh. How good is Manectric here? Manectric actually goes kind of hard here. It actually goes kind of hard here. Because I can lead off with... They have very little for Manectric Gyarados. Hit them on top, actually. I'm going to go with that. And I think my last Mon, once again, might be Entei. But I could also see the use in Tokus. Nah, Entei is just generally better. So they go Arcanine, Suicune, that's fine. Um, I'm going to do this. I can actually I can actually get up to plus one pretty easily by going for Howl Dragon Dance. And I think they're actually just gonna like snarl tailwind, if not Will-O-Wisp Tailwind. And if they do, I'm fine because I, you know, am Entei or I'm I'm um Lumberry. So I actually go for the Snarl, which is huge. Get my Dragon Dance up. And now they have to fear the Ice Fang, which is actually really, really awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and volt switch Ice Fang here. Doesn't quite KO. I do get the freeze. Ah, uh, they're just gonna forfeit. Amazing. Incredible. Outplayed, but also outlucked. Alright. So I mean we're we're too all right now. We're too is that a freaking Quagsire? Look at him. Hello? Okay. Vine boom sound effect. I might actually start putting more effort in editing my videos. I might do the vine boom sound effect right there. I don't know. Fourth wall break, but it's you know. We're on the same side of the wall. This is real life. We're on the same side of the wall. Like, listen, like, like a fourth wall break doesn't matter in a YouTube video when it's like real life. I'm literally just playing Pokemon, right, John? John viewing the video right now? Uh, do I have taunt on anything? I actually don't think I do. However, <laughs> however, they only have like two trick room setters and I think I might be able to one shot both of them if I play this right. Gonna go hit him on top, and actually Gyarados is absolutely nasty in this game. Okay, they end up going Dust Noir. Um, I can't one shot that. Actually, I might be able to. I'm gonna go for it. They're gonna protect, right? They actually have no reason to protect. I'm an idiot. Uh, they should be going for the Earthquake here. I'm gonna Volt Switch. Actually, what if he's Lightning Rod? If he's Lightning Rod, I have to be scared. Like, listen, this is Low Ladder. They got Lightning Rod on this thing. They're not running Solid Rock. So what I can do is go Hitmontop on this slot and Gyarados on this slot. And they should be Earthquaking. As they Swords Dance. Okay. Uh, that kind of sucks. But... Alright, if they have Swords Dance, they have Rock Slide, they have Earthquake... I bet you they have Ice Punch or some weird tech. If they have Protect, I'm going to be pretty upset, but I'm going to go for Waterfall Fake Out. Hopefully they don't have Protect, because then I would have gone for the Faint, but I'm just banking on them not having Protect outright. I mentioned this in the last showdown live, but whenever I face like weird teams like this, I always feel like I choke. Alright, there's the Kiss. They do have protect. That sucks. Okay. Um, how do I do this? Uh, I can go for the wide guard. I'm gonna go for the wide guard and I'm gonna go for the waterfall. Because they probably rock slide. If they have stone edge, I'm gonna lose it. As they swords dance. Okay. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. I bet you they only have spread moves. I'm going to keep doing this. They only have spread moves. There's no way they're running a single target move. They got Rock Slide and they have Earthquake. I can hard wall them with this. How much you want to bet? The The amount of movesets 
that I'm going through. I'm like, okay, he's got Swords Dance, which means he doesn't have this. He's got that, so he doesn't have this. He's got this, so he doesn't have that. I live that because I'm hip on top and I'm cool as hell. Here's the Ice Fang. Okay. And now, I still have to Wide Guard. And I'm guaranteed to take the next one if it's not a crit. And I also kind of hard wall. Uh, Ice Fang, how much did I do? 36, I have to Ice Fang again. They go Dust Noir. All right, let's see if I heard wall. Yeah, I heard wall. Which is actually very funny. Gonna waterfall you because you're probably gonna protect this right here. If not, switch it out. I don't think he can really afford to stay in here. Hey, there we go. Okay, check this out. Rhyperior, gone. Not dealing with you anymore. Done with your crap. Get him out of here. See that? Crisis averted. Crisis actually averted there. And I am Lumberry, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go into Entei here, and I'm going to Ice Fang this Togekiss. So if they if they go for the Will-O-Wisp, it's like actually fine. There's the Shadow Punch. Air Slash. Yeah, no. Ooh, it lived. Okay. Um, how much does that matter? I mean, I can just E-Speed here, and I win regardless, because Hitmontop, Manectric kind of deal with like everything. Yeah, I'm just going to Waterfall this Dusnor. All right, what's in the back? Quagsire, phenomenal. Uh, let me go hit Montop here. I'm gonna waterfall the Dust Noir, and it's pretty much just game. They're likely water absorb, if not unaware. I can technically test the waters because I don't quite lose if I do. Of course, you know, unless they start cursing. Is that rest? Okay, so they're resto chesto. Why am I going for fake out? All right, check this out. Dragon Dance. I'm just not gonna let them set up. All right, nice. Um, Entei's kind of important for the end game. Because I can just go for like Choice Band Crunch, you know? Suppose this is my play. Good damage. As he encores me into Waterfall, uh, I have no objections. <laughs> uh, let me go for close combat again. I, I literally can't lose this. Okay. Um, there's no reason to test if he's running Water Absorb when I can just close combat and go into Manectric here and win. So I'm not gonna. As a GG. That was interesting. That was, uh, <laughs> to be honest, he gave me the most trouble out of everyone so far, so that's kind of funny. That's actually pretty funny. Okay, this is really cool. Uh, got some redirection with uh, Tangrowth. Possibly follow me on Lucario. I really doubt it, though. It's kind of hard to justify running it on that thing. Beyond that, it just looks like hard trick room. Uh, definitely, definitely hates Gyarados Hitmontop. Uh, and I can 100% lead off, like, Gyarados Manectric and do some solid damage. I'm going to go hit Montop in the back just because having two Intimidators is generally... It's it's more useful to not lead off with both because you can be a little bit more flexible. Um, and I think my last Mon... He's got a couple of checks for Entei. Tokus doesn't seem that great, though, with the two Steel types. I'll go Entei. He ends up going Lucario Slowbro. That's kind of a telltale sign of that he's probably just going to go for Trick Room here. Um, I mean, I can go for a Waterfall Volt Switch, I suppose. Yeah, he's just going to follow me, isn't he? Be surprised if he doesn't. 
Did I just get final gambited? <laughs> Hello, sir? What? All right, here, I'm going to flinch you. I'd love if I could just flinch this thing right now. Okay, that's fine. I can flinch it next turn. Um, This is actually generally looking kind of bad for me. I think my play here is to stall at the trick room and then kind of rely on Snarl winning me the game. Can't really switch into anything except for Manectric. Here I'm just going to go ahead and go for Protect. And I'm going to fake out this slow bro because I don't want to get psychic. So go for the Ice Beam. I'm going to go hard to my Manectric now. And do I want to close combat? I'm going to do that. Because they shouldn't Earth Power like ever. Muddy Water is going to KO me. However, I can kind of Nene on them with Wide Guard right now. Because I, I can guarantee you they're not going to call the Wide Guard. Um, if I lock myself into Extreme Speed, that should KO the Gastron. It also lends me a lot more flexibility in the endgame versus Slowbro. So I'm going to do that. So I actually go for the Psychic. Kind of bad for me. Not going to lie. Kind of very bad for me. I, I'm actually probably going to lose this. Uh, I'm going to Extreme Speed the Slowbro. Or extreme, yeah, I Extreme Speed the Slowbro every time I'm going to go for a Protect here. Because he should be faking out Gyarados. And I probably can take one Surf with my Entei. And then this is a lot more doable. As he actually opts just to probably double target my Entei, which is really bad. Oh, I live. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I can win this. Extreme speed. As long as he doesn't have like bullet punch, I win this every time. Because he definitely doesn't have protect on the slow bro. And two waterfalls should KO Hariyama. Let's see if I flinch. Knock off. Okay, yeah, I win. GG's. The, the crazy teams are the ones that are like getting to me today. Like, those are the ones that are actually kind of messing with me. The rest of the teams, like, the standard stuff I'm prepared for, but, like, the crazy teams? Ah, not quite, not quite. They're actually messing with me quite a bit. But so far, I haven't lost yet. I keep coming close. Coming close to losing versus these, like, wacky stuff, but I, I keep winning. Ooh, okay, Sage in Park moment. Actually, did Sajin have a Scizor on his team? I don't quite remember. I actually don't remember. Um, but I know Manectric goes crazy versus this team. Like, actually. <laughs> like, 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 actually, like, what does he do? Um, I'm going to go Manectric, Gyarados. The only thing I'm kind of concerned about is, like, Trace, Lightning Rod on my Manectric uh, with her Gardevoir. In the back here, uh, I definitely want to go Hitmontop. And dang, I literally been bringing the same four every single time. And it isn't even that like it's optimal to always bring the same four because obviously like we have different matchups that are better for like Garchomp and Tokus. But just this whole time, this whole video, it's just been like Entei's the best last Pokemon. Yeah, uh, as they go Azumarill. Uh, my play here is going to be to... Howl and Dragon Dance, and that should allow me to one-shot this Pachirisu. Because they're just going to Belly Drum. Yeah. And now they're actually kind of in trouble because I can Volt Switch on the Azumarill. Likely, actually I don't know if I knock it out. Uh, but I'm going to double the Azumarill because they probably are going to protect it. They follow me again. It's whatever because I get the Pachi. And then I get, like, you know, a lot on the next turn. So I'm just going to double this Azumarill. See if they Aqua Jet. Yep. That's actually really bad for me. <laughs> but I do get the Nuzzle play. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Uh, Belly Drum, Aqua Jet, they definitely have Protect on this thing. So I'm actually just going to Faint and Waterfall. Got him, coach. Got him. And I'm definitely going to live this, uh, 
I'm definitely going to leave this nuzzle. It's just not going to be enjoyable. That did like nothing. But I'm in a pretty good position. Because uh, T-Tar comes in here. I mean, what does he really do? Could be Dragon Dancing. Which is why I want to go into Entei right now. And I'm actually just going to go for the KO on the Pachi. Yeah. Because since I don't get... Oh, that actually lived. Holy crap. I didn't expect it to take the physical hit that well. Um, I can go into Hitmontop this turn. Waterfall. I'm actually going to Waterfall into T-Tar here. Because I'm more concerned about that now. Yeah, I figured they would do that, but oh my god, that actually KO'd. Uh, I'm not in a terrible spot. Obviously, like, I have quite a few things I can do here. Uh, fake out, plus... Actually, I think I just close combat. I should take one rock slide, but then I'm in, like, really big trouble for the rest of the game because of the sand damage. And I think I just e-speed into this Pachi. But I could also... It's actually really bad if I don't just Sacred Fire. Oh, he connects on the anti Live. Okay. Can't be flinched. This is down. Tyranitar goes down. Oh, it lived. Oh, crap. Uh, that's fine. I can just go for Faint this turn. But I also really want a Wide Guard. <laughs> but, he, you know, he can obviously call that. Uh, I kind of have no option. Rock Slide, Earthquake. Nice. Okay, if I get this burn, I probably win. And I miss. And I miss. Okay. Uh, it, clearly, they aren't going to Earthquake again, unless they're Scarf Chomp. And I don't really feel like feeling that out. <laughs> I can't really... I really hope they're Scarf Chomp, because then I win. What what's the like of their scarf chomp? Um, it's it's pretty low their scarf chomp. I actually don't know if they are. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume they're not. So I'm gonna close combat. They were scarf chomp. GG. Okay, I could have won that. Uh, unfortunately, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot though, and that was completely on me. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more. Yeah, I I should have just wide guarded again. And it's this again. Okay. Well, we know exactly what the Lucario is gonna do. Obviously, it's just like Scarf Inner Focus. Um, what's Lucario's base HP? It's got 70 HP. I mean... I can go Manectric again. Maybe I go Entei, actually. Alright, check this out. This is a really risky lead, but I'm just trying to make sure I don't lose to Scarf Lucario Final Gambit. And I think Togekiss is really iffy. I'm just going to go... Do I go main again? I think Endgame Manetric was fine. I also have quite a few things for Kiss. I'm going to go Kiss. Yeah, they're going to go with the same thing. Uh, I'm going to fake out here. Because... If my Gyarados lived that hit with 92 HP investment... My... Yeah, my freaking Entei should always live the hit. So I'm going to go for Fake Out Crunch. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And they could fake out me, uh, but I really hope they don't. I might be able to live if I switch in Gyarados here. No, not quite. Uh, that's fine, though, because I get a second Intimidate off. And now I can just go for fake out Waterfall. Actually, no, I don't Waterfall here because... They can pretty easily go into the to the Gastrodon.
I think my play here is going to be fake out and go hard into Togekiss. Yeah. And we saw they have Psychic. And they have Muddy Water. D Gleam should knock out the Slowbro. And... I think I go hard into Gyarados here just to tank the hit. But I could also close Combat Gastron and I have a solid chance of winning them. I'm just going to do that. Alright, they're doubling. Ice Beam shouldn't KO me because of how bulky it is. And if I get this crit, I'm going to be really happy. Uh, that's within faint range, so I'm just going to go Gyarados. Faint. And that should be game. Now, uh, they don't quite have an out for this because I just... Uh, Dragon Dance once, Protect. Oh, they actually get the Faint. Uh, I should still win this, though, because they close combated earlier. And I get the flinch. Nice. GG. Nice. So we end up going, like, what? 6-1? and 5-1? and one, Something like that? I didn't count how many games I played. But overall, I'd say this team's pretty cool. Uh, I actually, it's just the, the utility of the of the Manectrix is really, really nice. Uh, it's like I said, it's like a halfway point between Raichu's utility and Raikou's utility. utility. Uh, but yeah, it, it's just a really fun team. Info for this team, as always, is going to be in my Discord. If you want to join that, link down below. If you want to support me on Patreon for the bonus videos, check that out, link down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.